but he is certainly Mr. Smooth. The Blue Jays will be adopting Mr. Bright, but he is certainly Mr. S but he is certainly Mr. Smooth. The Blue Jays will be without starter Jim Clancy for a couple of weeks. Yeah. 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 Adopting Mr. Bright, but he is certainly Mr. Smooth. The Blue Jays will be adopting Mr. Bright, but he is certainly Mr. S but he is certainly Mr. Smooth. The Blue Jays will be without starter Jim Clancy for a couple of weeks. We have to leave all this behind to dip our toes into the vast dark ocean on to the moon. Dozens of astronauts have come this way before us. Twelve walked on the moon itself. Just a quarter of a million miles from home. Three days by spacecraft. Barren. Desolate. It's like a deserted battlefield, but oddly familiar. So close, we've barely left home. Our time is limited. We need to take our own giant leap. One million miles, five million, 20 million miles. We're far beyond where any human has ever ventured. this dust, it's hard to see where we're going. Olympus Mons, named after the home of the Greek gods, three times higher than Everest. There's no sign of activity. Since its discovery in the 1970s, it's been declared extinct. Hang on, there are creatures that survive in extreme cold, heat, even in the deepest ocean trenches. It's as though life is a virus. It adapts, spreads. Maybe that's what we're doing right now, carrying the virus of life across the universe. Even in the most extreme conditions, life usually finds a way. Even out here, we're surrounded by matter. We think it exists because of its apparent hold on galaxies, like this one, the Large Magellanic Cloud. A six billion year journey in today's fastest spacecraft, 160,000 light years from the Milky Way at the edge of its gravitational reach. This galaxy should spin off into space, but something is holding it here, something invisible, powerful, dark matter, a malevolent presence. The one thing we didn't want to encounter, impossibly black, blotting out the stars behind it. 
We're staring into the face of extinction. The remains of a giant star. A black hole. Far denser than a pulsar. And impossible to resist. Its gravity is so intense, not even light can escape. Inside, there's no matter as we know it. No time, no space. All the rules of physics collapse. to say we don't live inside a vast black hole. But the whole universe isn't inside one right now, inside another universe. Think about it for too long and your mind reels. Maybe we shouldn't be out here. Maybe we should turn back. But there's something about the sun, something hypnotic, like the Medusa, too terrible to look at, too powerful to resist. Luring us onwards, on, like a moth to a flame. Destined to die, swallowed by a dying sun. But we shouldn't despair. We should rejoice. We've managed to experience the wonders of the universe. We should celebrate our achievements and enjoy our moment in the sun.